Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Building up the immune system, I talked about this recently, but with this virus going around, let's talk about it one more time because this is the only way you can beat disease is build up that immune system. And uh, this is a really, really difficult thing to do. I want to start out by saying I am 100% against vaccinations. Um, I think they want to vaccinate everybody. And If you're not vaccinating your kid, you're being a moron. Uh, you know, make this this COVID thing. Uh, you need to have your little vaccination card to go out and get a driver's license. This kind of stuff. This this is insane. Uh, you're not going to put any vaccinations in me. I don't want anything to do with that kind of stuff. And it is not the answer to health. So how can we build up the immune system? Well, uh, first of all, let me just kind of run through a list here. Some things I've never talked about before. Vitamin C. Um, you know, it's such a common thing, but what an amazing molecule. Scor ascorbic acid is one of the most, well, probably the most amazing, you know, chemical molecule we know of. It's the only molecule in nature that gives or donates or donates or receives an electron. There's no other molecule we know that can do that. So that's pretty amazing on, on, a, on a molecular level for it to do that. But Linus Pauling uh, did tremendous research, won the Nobel Prize for his studies on vitamin C. And they just don't want to talk about it because it's too easy to go out and buy vitamin C and take it in. I'd be taking 1,000 milligrams uh, a, a, day if, or a day if I were you, especially if I was sick, or if I had a compromised immune system. I'd be taking a lot of it. You're not going to really, it's a water-soluble. Uh, vitamins, so I wouldn't worry about taking too much of it. The uh, next one is fermented garlic. Now, garlic, we all know it's got an allicin, but, um, you know, fermented garlic, which is, you, know, you set it up at a temperature around 180 degrees and let it sit there for around 10 to 12 days, the, the allicin turns into allocysteine, so it converts over, and it becomes 10 times more bioavailable than it originally was. Well, this is the thing that, you know, builds up our immune system and gives us great heart health and all this sort of stuff. It makes the garlic a lot more mild, too. Uh, it turns into this kind of black garlic, some people call it. It's really delicious. If you like garlic to begin with, you're going to love fermented garlic. So that's a really good one. I mentioned this one a lot of times before, chaga. I'm going to mention it every time. It is the rock star. It's a superstar of mushrooms. Um, make a chaga tea out of it. You can do a chaga extract. You can buy that kind of stuff. But uh, just get the, the, the tea by itself. Either get the chaga chunks or get the chaga powder. And uh, just bring, bring your tea up to, or your water up to about 175, 185 degrees and let it steep in there about you know, 5 to 10 minutes, somewhere in there. That'll break that cell wall open. It doesn't have any taste to it whatsoever, really, chaga. And so you can drink as much of that as you want. Uh, you can just make a, you know, a, a tea. You can put it in your water, however you want to do that. But chaga, wow, what an amazing mushroom. I think it's the king of all mushrooms. Rishi is another great one, but I, like, I love chaga. And uh, the stuff that, you know, I happen to sell myself, that's wild craft. In other words, we're going right out to the, uh, to the forest and getting those in their Anirondack. So it's the really natural way to do it. It's not grown on rice bags. Another one is vitamin D. Now, I don't sell vitamin D. Um, I've looked for a, some natural uh, versions of vitamin D out there. They're really hard to come by. But, you know, there's, there's one place you can get vitamin D, and that's sunlight. And during this uh, lockdown here, they're telling you, stay inside, don't go out. Well, they don't want you into the sunlight. I don't know why. you got to get into the sunlight. Go sit in the window if they won't let you outside of your house, your apartment, or whatever. Vitamin D is just, I mean, you just get into the sunlight, your body starts creating it. It's actually a hormone, not a vitamin, but that is really a great immune system builder. It's also powerful anti-cancer properties to it. And by the way, everything I'm telling you here, I'm writing this book on cancer, they're immune system builders. Yeah, you're going to use those for cancer as well. They're anti-cancer, every single one of them. Okay, here's one, exercise. I mean, you got to get out there and exercise every single day. You can get out in sunlight and exercise. That'd be great. But this is an immune system builder. It is the one of the best immune system builders in the world, and it cleanses, you know, vigorous exercise. Walking's okay. You got to get up to the point where you're panting and breathing for about 15 minutes. And if it's just barely walking, that's good. If it's sprinting, that's that's good. But you got to get to your level and get out there every day. Uh, you know, and I do. I, I exercise 30 minutes every single day. I never miss. <laughs> I'm really a fanatic about it, but I only go 30 minutes because beyond that, you know, build up too many free radicals in the body, too much acidity, and uh, it's just uh, it's just kind of counterproductive. So 25, 30 minutes a day at the very most, and that's it. I, I like cardio workout. I do some weightlifting. And about an hour after that, by the way, your body will produce HGH, hormone growth hormone. Um, next one is you. 
Y E W Y U U powder. Well, U powder has got something called taxanes. Taxanes is what they've been putting into uh, chemotherapy as in the form of Taxol for years and years and years. Well, now this Pfizer is beginning to manufacture it themselves. But U comes from a U tree, which is uh, the um, a tree that's out in uh, primarily uh, the American West and the North. Um, and we just get the tips of the branches and uh, you just take it out, you just take the powder. I do sell a tincture of that. Um, that you know, that's the kind of thing, like it's an alcohol tincture, goes right into your bloodstream immediately. But uh, that's, that's what I'd highly recommend the U for, it's an anti-cancer property, great immune system builder. Another one is Eugalina. These are kind of unusual ones. Eugalina is an algae and that is got, is full of beta-glucans. That's what you're going to find in uh, your mushrooms, beta-glucans. Those are incredible immune system builders. That's why people spend all this money for these mushroom extracts to get at the beta-glucans. Well, they're far more available in eugalina. There's eugalina, just not very well known, but amazing stuff. And uh, I highly recommend that one for an immune system builder. Now, last but not least is chlorella growth factor. Of course, I talk about this all the time. That is, you know, concentrated chlorella. It is, uh, you know, you can get it in different, you know, levels of concentration. Uh, we do what we call OD5000. That means optical density. So it's down to the powder form. You've got this incredible uh, array of uh, amino acids, nucleic acids, uh, you know, polypep poly polysaccharides, polypeptides. Um, so, the, you know, this is the RNA. RNA uh, is what, you know, your body needs. Those are the blueprints to your cell. That's the nucleic acids. That's the really valuable part of, of, the, of the CGF. So the nucleic acids are what is going to give you this RNA, the blueprints to your cells. Your body can always replicate uh, perfectly. But it is really, you know, each cell, you know, is going to be diminished somewhat. I won't go into too much detail here, but CGF, chlorella growth factor or chlorella extract, I think probably the best immune system builder in the world. Now, last but not least, I'll say one more thing here, water. So that's not a direct immune system builder, but your body really can't function if it's not properly hydrated. Your water should rule your day. Don't ever drink water around mealtime because you dilute the digestive process. Never drink more than one liter, one quart per hour of water. Your body can't process any more than that. But if, if you really want to build your immune system, you have to be a water drinker. If you're not a, wa if you're not a water drinker, you see your, 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 your cells are always chronically dehydrated. They're in a hunkered down defensive posture and they're never operating to their capacity. So hydration is a key. And I've said this before, if you get sick, stop eating. Stop eating, stop eating anything. This is the, the healthiest thing you can do is fast. Stop eating, okay? It gives you your body a chance to rest and repair and cleanse itself. So stop eating. The last thing you want to do is sit down to a meal when you, you've got the flu, when you've got a cold, when you've got cancer. You know, you want to try to fast as much as possible. And then when, you do, when, you, when you're going to eat, make sure you're just getting yourself pra, uh, pure, raw nutrients from raw fruits and vegetables, things like spirulina and chlorella and these types of foods. So this is how you build the immune system. This is how you live a healthy life. And this is why I'm one of the only guys you're ever going to hear in your life say this. I'm not going to die of a disease. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time.